Well, as you heard, it wasn't just gun control activists who came to Colorado to push an agenda after the tragedy. The politicians, of course, were there. They were drawn to the scene, as they always are. Congressman Jason Crow and Senator Michael Bennett, both Democrats, attended the prayer vigil. They weren't there to offer prayers. They were there to belittle prayer and instead hold a campaign rally. Here's part of it. You already have my thoughts and prayers, but you deserve and should demand more. Because to only send thoughts and prayers when you're a member of Congress or when you're in a position to take action and to effect change, it is empty, it is hollow, and you and your children deserve more. Our kids already have enough to do. Their job is not to fix America's broken gun laws. What vultures these people are. For the politicians, devastated children grieving families were just political props, props they could use to increase their own power at the expense of other people's freedom. That's the reaction to every problem and every tragedy. This could have been stopped if you'd given me more power. Of course, in reality, Washington has been getting more and more power for decades, and it has not been making our kids happier or healthier. Guns have been part of American life since day one. School shootings have only been routine within our lifetimes. There are a lot of possible explanations for this. We don't seem to be talking about any of them. The kids in Colorado were, though. They chanted, as you heard, mental health, and they're right. But it's not enough to say we need more mental health care. It's also worth asking why we need it. Why do so many kids have so many more mental health problems? It's not your imagination. It's real. It's measurable. It's being measured, though not addressed. In the past decade, teen depression has risen dramatically, as have teen suicides. They're connected, of course. Between 2008 and 2017, the percentage of adolescents with depression symptoms rose 52 percent. Among kids 15 to 24, suicides are up almost 50 percent. That's a horrifying number. No one mentions it. Millions of American children are on drugs for ADHD, anxiety, other mental health problems. But why? What is driving this? Is it the breakdown of the family? Is it too much screen time? Is it something in the food? We don't really know. That's the actual tragedy. And as long as our leader's preferred response to this tragedy is opportunism, we never will know. 